What's the best show out right now? The best show out right now is probably, oof. It's gotta be a tie between Severance. I knew he was gonna say that. That that has been what I recommend to anybody looking for new shows recently. An ad popped up, L Streamer, who puts <laughs> ads. <laughs> Wait, an ad popped up, what's the best show out right now? <laughs> uh is that ad uh no 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 it's it's good um i haven't watched the bear i've really wanted to watch the bear and i haven't i haven't started it yet but i do really want to watch the bear i would say having not seen the bear severance and andor the like you you would think like oh a star wars like disney plus show all the disney plus shows have been garbage they have Andor is one of the best shows ever made and is one of the best Star Wars things ever made. And it's such a good way to like jump into the franchise for people who haven't seen like or cared very much about Star Wars. It is incredible. <laughs> oh, like SpongeBob. I did not watch SpongeBob. Uh, Mando is fun. Uh, Mando. So I, I like some of Mando. A lot of Mando is just filler. And and is nothing like and, and some of Mando is just offensively bad, um, but some of it is is meh. It's pretty okay. I, I I watch it, but I wouldn't say any of it has been super great. Uh, Andor, if you're looking for a Star Wars show that is is good, is Andor is one of the best shows being made right now. Uh, it's incredible, and I highly recommend it, even if you're not super into man, uh, uh, Star Wars. And then Severance is is really great. Um, Ahsoka was better than Mando, but it's just there's a whole the whole string of Dave Filoni um, TV shows like Mando, like Bad Batch, like Ahsoka, like uh, uh, you know other ones. Uh, there's a whole string of like Star Wars shows that are made in the philosophy of Dave Filoni, and Ahsoka is one of those. And all of those shows are just bad. Like like the primary priority for all of those Dave Filoni Star Wars shows are what big exciting reveal can we have happen that'll get people sharing screenshots on Twitter, and and that's annoying. Like that's not how you make a show. Uh, what about anime? Naruto is my favorite anime right now. Uh, Kakashi is my uh, favorite anime character. Uh, I have not watched any of Naruto, but I hear it's very good. Uh, my favorite anime is Evangelion. If you haven't watched Neon Genesis Evangelion, uh, you should 100% watch it. But if you're looking for like a real easy watch. Oh my God. If we're talking about <laughs> anime, that is my cue to leave. <laughs> a real easy watch is Attack on Titan. If you haven't watched it yet, it is really, really incredible. But Neon Genesis is one of the best animes ever made uh, from my very limited you know, uh, viewing and collection. Um, one of the best animes ever made. Uh, the story is incredible, and the uh, animation is unbelievably superb. Chloe, Believe what's your favorite anime? Yeah. That sentence should never be spoken. None of them. Captain Levi is I one of the goats after watch. Chloe, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Attack on Titan is is incredible. It's a very, very good show. And I didn't anticipate Attack on Titan's ability to, like, as the story unfolds, like, season after season. <laughs> SpongeBob is her favorite anime. Uh, as the story unfolds season after season, I did not anticipate Attack on Titan's ability to completely change the the world and the way that we relate to the characters like the entire show changes after the reveal at the end of every season it's a whole it's just a whole different show now and without like reinventing the actual narrative of the show itself like it's still telling the same story but that chapter of the story is such a radically different way of engaging with the world that it, it has blown my mind i don't understand uh how it does it so consistently but it's done that like five times where like the show is just something else now uh and it's great at first i was uh fringe but like you uh said it changed up and really takes a turn and became captivating yeah right like like right at the start it's interesting and it's intriguing uh 
the animation is pretty cool, but it wasn't enough to like really hold me. Uh, and I had a friend who was like, no, 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 just stick with it. Uh, until like that first big reveal. Um, <laughs> Morgan said SpongeBob. Yeah, you're a little behind. Uh, until that like big first big reveal, and I'm very glad that I did because that's what really hooked me uh, and got me into the show. Uh, Blaine, uh, what do you think about the new Loki episode? I have not caught up on Loki. Um, I only watched the first episode of Loki. I haven't gone back to it. I have every intention of going back to it because Loki is one of the best Marvel shows uh, made right now. Um, but yeah, I've, uh, I've had other stuff to be doing. Uh, talking about you, Chloe, no spoilers. Uh, your favorite hobby? Dad, gun, the chat is so inquisitive tonight. <laughs> your favorite Better than hobby? dead do chat. Have, do you have hobbies? Do I? I don't think so. Watching Twitch? Everybody on Twitch except for me? <laughs> true. Yeah, true. 